Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In this lecture, I will pursue the dynamic net, which is network address translator. So I will have similar to this network. Uh, this router will represent the inside network, which is on this side, and the external network, the outside. Public IP address will be given by the server. Uh, so I will assign. I have five I public IP address to access by uh, six PCs. How can um, how can I divide such a network how can I design such a network uh, this is just a simple example it's already example so the first the f signal has been filled second time it should be successfully sent from the client to server so just follow me step by step so I have to create uh, two routers similar to this I will choose 1841 so this is these are my two routers. I choose two switches. This is first switch. This is the second switch. I go to choose computers or clients. Delete this. I go to choose clients. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I need a server here, right there. Then connect these networks all together. Next step is to add the serial link. So I switch off this router and WIC1T and switch it on again. I go to this one also. I switch it off. WIC1T, I will. Okay, it's on again. Now I just connect these two routers together using the serial 0, 0, 0. All together. Okay, it's connected. Now I have to assign my IP address. So this is going to be. 20.0.0.2 and this is gonna be dot one of course and I'll close it I will assign IP addresses in here as well so this is gonna be 192.168.0.2 and I will copy this IP address so I don't have to repeat the process several times and this is dot one I close this network students you have to assign an IP address for all these PCs one by one similar to this method this is the three and this is dot one you do the same thing for the next and last PC you have to assign an IP address for all these PCs I reach to the last IP address this is seven this is dot one and now IP address has been assigned I will go to this router I will activate this fast Ethernet I just have to go to CLI and write in my code enable config T and then interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 then I will put the IP address and then be 192.168 here that one space two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero and then and now shut down exit then interface serial zero slash zero slash zero I put the IP address My IP address will be uh, 13.0.0.1 space 255.0.0.0 and no shutdown also. I have finished this side of the network. I will move to the next, the other side of the network. Uh, do you know? And then enable config T and then interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and then I'll assign my IP address which is 20 it's gonna be 20.0.0.1255.0.0.0 then no shutdown okay it's activated I'll move to the serial link 
exit interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and then I will assign my IP address my IP address is gonna be 30 dot 0 dot 0 dot 2 then 255.0.0.0 then no shutdown as you can see here network has been connected now I will rename this to be R1 and R1 in here so not mix between two routers this is gonna be R2 and R2 so I have to change the configuration of R1 uh, to create the inside network and outside network for the uh, external or dynamic net or the public IP addresses so I go to this router I have to go to configuring mode like this I will write IP route dot zero then this is for serial zero slash zero slash zero and now I created a default routing out uh, for the serial link now I'll go to access list one access list one permit I have to do the extension okay uh, permit to give the permission to the network for 192.168.0.0 this network will connect it to the sub mask of 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.255 uh, now I created an access list for translation traffic now I go to IPNet inside Uh, I'm sorry I have to create a pool first so IP not pool uh, tests which is I choose the network of 50.0.0.1 to 50.0.0.5 okay this is will be a net mask starting from 255.0.0.0 in this step I create a pool for my network as a translator now I will go to IPNet inside uh, inside source list one pool test Okay, and then I will configure the inside, uh, the NAT inside and NAT outside. So of course the fast Ethernet. So I go to uh, interface fast Ethernet zero slash zero. Uh, this is going to be IP NAT inside. Then exit. I go to. Uh, uh, interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and I go to IP net outside then exit now I finished the configuration of the first router I have to go to the next router I will just configure it uh, configure the routing table so I have to go to IP route 0 slash uh, IP route 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 and 2 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 this is for of course serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 for serial link that's it now I have to go to this one I need to see what's happening exactly so I have to exit from this mode configuring mode and I will go to the debugging IP net DBUG IP net to see what's happening exactly but to run this network you have to give it some time 
and wait for a while until it be active after giving this network uh, some time you have to send a message to check either it's working or not you see I'm sending a message from this PC to this server it's successful it's if it's filled at the first time like this you have to give it another chance you see so at the second time it's activated successfully now I need to see what's happening when I'm sending this message as I have activated the debug IP net so I can see what's happening you see I'm sending from this source the 2 to this destination which is that one one is going to receive the signal you see when I receive the signal I received it from 20.2 till destination 50.001 this is my public IP address and the router had changed this public IP address to the real one or actual one which I am using so this is the idea of using uh, debug IP net how can I switch off the debug IP net I have to go to this again I have to end this process and then I have to no, write no debug IP net IP net debugging is off is off for R1 then you have to end with hatch that's it debugging had been stopped for R1 uh, this is uh, today's lecture I wish you all understand the benefit of dynamic IP and see you in the next lecture thank you so much this is Dr. Louis Faisal Abdelazak